Okay. Now we are conducting experiment of figure of merit of galvanometer. The operations required for this experiment are battery, I resistance box means 0 to 5000 ohm, one way plug key and another one way plug key galvanometer and shunt resistance box. Here the range will be 1 to 1000 or 1 to 500 ohm. It's enough. Next step, circuit. Here the battery positive comes to negative terminal of the galvanometer. Right? The positive terminal of the galvanometer, this one goes to key one. Here I can say this one as key one, this one as key two. Positive term terminal of the galvanometer goes to key one and key one another end goes to resistance box. Resistance box another end goes to negative terminal of the battery. Next part, take shunt resistance. Shunt resistance another end goes to galvanometer negative. Here, another shunt resistance another end goes to one way plug key and one way plug key another end goes to galvanometer positive. There the circuit is the positive terminal of the battery goes to negative terminal of the galvanometer. The positive terminal of the battery goes to key one and key one another end goes to resistance box. Resistance box another end goes to battery negative. Next shunt resistance one end goes to galvanometer negative. Another end goes to one way plug key. One way plug key another end goes to galvanometer positive. Next, switch on the circuit and remove 5000 in the I resistance box. Then insert the plug key. Observe the galvanometer. The maximum deflection in the galvanometer is 30. Observe here. Now I remove 2000, 2000, 4000, 4400. For trial 1, the I remove 4400 ohm. Deflection theta is 30 divisions. Right. Next, close key 2. Close key 1 and key 2. Next step, apply shunt resistance. Here the theta, the theta value becomes of the value, means 30 becomes 15. 50. Here the galvanometer needle comes to 15 division means of the value of deflection theta. So 30 of 15 here shunt resistance equals to 50, 70, 80, 85, 87. Shunt resistance equals to 87 ohm. For third trial take out deflection theta 25 division. Again, remove the key to deflection for 25 division. Remove 1000 ohm. Observe here. Now the needle comes to 25th division in the galvanometer. So, how much resistance we apply? 5400. Right. Again, close the key to. Now 11, 12, 12.5. 
so half value of 25 is 12.5 so the shunt resistance we applied is equal to again 87 ohm yeah 87 ohm for third trial take out deflection for 20 dB again remove key 2 again apply Observe now the galvanometer material comes to 28 division. 28 division means how much resistance we applied here 5000 plus 2000 7000 ohm. Deflection theta 20. Next step insert the key 2 and find out the shunt resistance. So 20 of equals to 10. Here the galvanometer needle comes to division number 10. The shunt resistance equals to again 87. Therefore, mean resistance of the galvanometer equals to 87. Next one, figure of merit of galvanometer. K equals to E divided by R plus G into theta. Here I take set battery for 2 volts. E value equals to 2 divided by what's the value of R for first trial 4400 plus what's the value of G G equals to 87 theta 30 next step calculation 4400 plus 87 equals to into 30 2 divided by 134610 2 divided by 134610 equals to 0 0.00014486 for third trial what's the value of R R is equal to 5400 plus what's the value of g again 87 into what's the value of theta 25 137175 emf 2 2 divided by 137 137175 here equals to 0 0.0401458 for third trial again 2 divided by what's the value of r 7000 into what's the value of g again 87 into 20 2 divided by 1218 2 divided by 1 to 1 8 8 then we get R value 7000 into what's the G value 87 2 divided by 609 triple 0 2 divided by 609 triple 0 equals to 5 0 0.0032 I think it will be wrong 7000 into Sorry, 7000 plus 
7000 plus 87 into 20 right for third right 2 divided by 141740 2 divided by 141 now we get 0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.